Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem, uh, calculating the speed of advance, the required speed, um, given some information. Okay, so what we're trying to do is uh, you're turning 68 RPM with a propeller pitch of 18 feet. You have an estimated slip of 2%. That means that we've lost 2%. So we're, we're at 98% efficiency. And what is the speed of advance? So how fast are we actually going? If we know our pitch and our RPM and we know what our performance is, okay, we're going to be performing about 2% less than our pitch times our RPM, we should be able to calculate what our actual speed is, okay? So um, what are we going to do? We're going to use the formula for speed of advance for this, okay? So speed of advance, all right, if we really think about it, is uh, it's really knots, which is nautical miles per hour. Okay, and so what formula are we going to put in there? Well, we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, we're going to use our theoretical speed okay formula, which is our engine speed formula, and then we're going to multiply it by our efficiency okay, and that'll give us our actual performance. So, what is our uh, our um, engine speed formula? Well, in another video we uh, derived that, but that's basically going to be the propeller pitch times the RPM times a conversion factor, which is 60 uh, minutes per hour, and divided by another conversion factor, which is 6,080 uh, feet per nautical mile, all right? Um, and then what we need to do is that's our theoretical uh, speed based on our RPM and pitch, but now we have to uh, multiply that by our, uh, our slip, okay, um, which takes it from theoretical to the actual, and that's going to be uh, multiplying essentially by the efficiency. And the efficiency is 1 minus the slip. Okay? So we're going to have to take that 2%, convert it to a decimal, and uh, subtract it from, uh, from, from 1. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this. So our speed of advance, okay? Our speed of advance is going to equal our pitch. So let's start with that. The pitch is 18 feet. But it's not 18 feet. It's 18 feet per revolution. So that's 18 feet per revolution. Great. Times our RPM. Our RPM was 68 revolutions per minute. Okay. All right. So our revolutions cancel out. And then, um, and then we're going to multiply by uh, uh, our uh, 60 minutes per hour. Okay. We need to do that. And uh, that is going to give us our actual engine speed, all right? And that is going to be, uh, oh, 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 now we need to um, multiply that by one nautical mile per uh, 6,080 feet, okay? And now what we're left with is nautical miles per hour. That's great. So that's our engine speed. Now we're going to multiply that by our actual um, uh, 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 efficiency, Okay, so that's going to be 1 minus, I'm going to convert this, okay, 2% into a decimal, 0 0.02, all right, and that, uh, that is a positive slip, so that's going to be a plus, so 1 minus 0 0.02 becomes 0 0.98, so 18 times 68 times 60 divided by 6080 times 0 0.98, and when I do all that, you should get 18 point uh, excuse me, 11.8 knots, all right? So the answer should be 11.8 nautical miles per hour, which is knots, and that's the answer. 